Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer, <clears throat> uh, PrevMed, Heart Attack, Stroke, Cancer, Disability Prevention. I'm going to do another unboxing video today. This one is on Cardio Mobile. Um, I had one of these a few years ago when it was a live core. This is actually a way to look for atrial fib, atrial fibrillation, using your iPhone. Um, <clears throat> whenever I talk about a product or a purchase ranging from supplements like niacin uh, to um, dietary products like Proline to this, I talk about levels of evidence. Um, so wh what are levels of evidence? So the greatest level of evidence being randomized clinical trials which show uh, improvement with that uh, product versus um, the lowest level of evidence, which is expert opinion. And then in between you have uh, different levels. Two, three, and four are different levels of uh, evidence, case studies, uh, case series, things like that. <clears throat> On this product, I have not seen uh, significant um, research around the Cardia product itself. However, there are uh, studies about using portable atrial fib monitors. So from that perspective you could say you've probably got some level uh, 3 evidence. You've clearly got some uh, level 5 evidence. It's been endorsed a couple of times by this fellow. His name is um, Eric Topol, T-O-P-O-L. Dr. Topol has done a lot of work in terms of um, digital uh, devices for heart disease. He's a practicing cardiologist in La Jolla, California. The editor-in-chief of uh, Medscape. He's also done a lot of work in terms of genetics of heart disease and many folks would consider him ha as being, well he, he was, he's been instrumental in terms of getting the Mayo Clinic, uh, excuse me, not Mayo, the Cleveland Clinic, um, a big name in uh, cardiology. So <clears throat> Some fairly good uh, information and evidence behind this product. Let's just go to the um, uh, to the unboxing itself. Before we do, though, I'll make a couple of other comments. I obviously won't have time for this video to get deep into the science around atrial fib, atrial fibrillation. Um, it's a major, significant, increased risk factor for heart attack, as well as uh, stroke and even more so for stroke. Um, I have personal issues around this, is, um, around this area. I have uh, atrial fib, not atrial fib myself, not proven yet. Uh, I do have the atrial fib gene, 4Q25, uh, the high risk gene in the, 4Q, in the Q25 area of the fourth chromosome. And I have family members with atrial fib, so I know that I'm at risk. So let's get to the unboxing and see how you can actually get an EKG rhythm strip to look for atrial fib on your iPhone. So this box is confusing, by the way. <clears throat> so you open it like this. You look inside. And the only thing you see inside here is a plate. It's an optional plate to use it to stick to the back of your iPhone. The, um, the Alive Core that I had a few generations back a couple of years ago was an entire iPhone case that had electrodes on the back of the iPhone. You just put your fingers like that. I was actually able, believe it or not, to record um, and detect atrial fib in, my, uh, in one of my dogs using that. Uh, it was the older dog who uh, died a few years after that. Now, <clears throat> let's look at this. So where, I, I looked at this, I saw an empty box after I got that stuff out and I said, where are the electrodes? Well, uh, again, sneaky packaging here. The electrodes are in the cover of the box. You take this off and it's there. So, <clears throat> Maybe too fancy, too, too slick with the um, 
packaging. All you have to do then, these are the electrodes. All you have to do is pop them out. And then you say, okay, well, that's an EKG. Well, it, it is. It's an actual EKG strip. Well, what powers it? It's not the iPhone power. No, it's not. As you see here, there is a cover for one of those little uh, key or, or not flashlight batteries, but those key fob batteries. <clears throat> now, so how does that translate into an EKG strip? Well, first of all, you go to, you download the app. Here's the Cardia app. Let me see if I can get that where you can see it. K-A-R-D-I-A, -A, right here. I've downloaded it, and up. Oh, I guess you see that I've cheated. I did a dry run and did an EKG strip with it. Let me show you how you do that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now, here you see the, uh, the face sheet. There are things that you sh can do. You have to sign up, log in, uh, create an account if you don't have one. Again, I actually had an account from three years ago. But at least, even though their packaging may have been deceptive, at least the face sheet on the uh, app was not. It's really clear. Record now. But before I do that, I've got a little bit of a, 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 a handiness I've got to do here. Coordination in terms of showing this. I'm going to go ahead and hit record now. And... Put my fingers... Okay, there you see that it's getting started. Look at that. I have to be careful talking because it can impact the quality of the rhythm strip. Okay, <clears throat> so there you go. I don't know if you can read that. I will read it for you. It says, basically, right here, no abnormalities were, were found in your EKG. Now, if you're looking for atrial fib, which this is really, I mean, the atrial fib is the sweet spot for this. Um, other problems with your uh, other dysrhythmias may be okay. Um, but atrial fib <clears throat> is the most common. It's the one that... Um, is uh, it's the, the one that brings the risk factor for a heart attack and especially stroke. So if you have atrial fib, one of the things that you need to do in settings is turn off uh, unreadable because uh, atrial fib will often look unreadable on this machine. Uh, the bottom line is that the pacer area of the heart, which is up in the atria, uh, has a, mal a malfunction, a performance problem. The uh, muscles, the muscle fibers of the atria, after receiving firing, can sometimes turn into more of a conduction fiber rather than just a muscle fiber. If it does, you can get little networks of conduction fibers within the atria that connect. If they connect, you get a circular pattern, which can create, go into a chaotic pattern. That is atrial fib. So then it, it's almost at random. When, when you go to medical school and they're teaching you different components of cardiology, one of the things they say is that the uh, rhythm for atrial fib is what we call irregularly irregular. Now, people that have atrial fib uh, often don't even feel it, but those that do notice this weird... Um, confusing and unsettling condition because it's not like you miss every third or fourth beat. That's a different type of, um, of dysrhythmia. With this, 
you can't predict when it's going to be. You could get two quick ones or three quick ones followed by one or two slow ones. So <clears throat> that's why you have to shut off uh, unreadable. It's related to the reason you have to shut off unreadable. So again, we'll talk more about atrial fib and its uh, risk factor for heart attack and especially stroke. But I just wanted to give you some um, thoughts about a, uh, a home a way to do this at home. I actually personally had woke up with some flutter about a month ago. That's why I went back and reordered one of these. If we do if I do have that again, I'll give you a follow-up on what it tells me.